Good morning, everybody. Michael the Maven here. And today we're going to be talking about how to figure out the equivalent crop factor for any size media that you are shooting with. I think we take it for advantage that most of the time we say it's 1.5 for APS-C, 1.6 for Canon, 2X for Micro Four Thirds. The truth of the matter is we're starting to see lots of different sizes of media, especially when you get into medium and large format, they can vary widely. So how do we figure out the equivalent focal length of a lens for a media size that we're not used to shooting? The truth of the matter is if you can remember the Pythagorean theorem, this is going to be a piece of cake. So the Pythagorean theorem basically states that when you have a triangle that has one 90 degree angle in it, you can take the square of both the sides, add them together, take the square root, and that will give you the diagonal. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And this is going to allow us to calculate the diagonal of any format camera. Take for example, 35 millimeter, 36 squared plus 24 squared, and if we go in and we actually do the math, we're given 43.27 millimeters for that diagonal. So if we take something that we're familiar with, say Canon APS-C, 22.2 millimeters wide, 14.8 millimeters tall, take the square root of that, and we get 26.68 millimeters for the diagonal. So 43.27, the diagonal of the 35 millimeter, divided by 26.68, the diagonal of the Canon APS-C, that gives us about 1.6. So that is how you calculate the equivalent crop factor for any media that you're shooting with. Now, a quick side note on this is that interchangeable lens cameras, we're talking about DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, typically those lenses are stated in the 35 millimeter realm, and it is assumed that you will apply the crop factor. So take a 100 millimeter lens, for example, the lens, in and of itself is rated at 100 millimeters, even though it may only fit on an APS-C body, it's expected that we would know to calculate that according to the crop factor and know it's either a 150 or a 160 millimeter lens. This is not always the case with smartphone cameras, simply because the sensors are very, very small and different manufacturers will state an equivalent focal length that really has nothing to do with how we are determining it in this sense. They're basically saying, this is close enough to this focal length in 35 millimeters. So just keep that in mind. Typically, cell phone manufacturers are stating the equivalent focal length and often the conversion isn't needed. In any event, if you're struggling to learn your camera and you wanna learn more about photography, I would love to earn your subscription. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.